Hi, I'm Yelena. Hi, I'm David. And in this tutorial, we look at Navasana, a boat pose. Mm -hmm. And everyone loves to hate this pose. It's a hard pose. If you like this tutorial, even if you hate this pose, please be sure to like the video, to follow us, to subscribe, and to share it. Share Navasana with your friends. <laughs> So uh, if you do Ashtanga yoga, this pose, it kind of ends the first half of primary series. Which means you're already exhausted. <laughs> yeah, you're usually pretty <laughs> tired. Is. And I think this pose is probably common. It shows up in, in uh, lots of different practices as well. Uh, and we have a couple things to tell you about it. I don't know if it makes it easier or not, but I think it makes it um, safer. Yeah. So where should you be feeling uh, Navasana when you do it? Well, you definitely don't want to feel it in your lower back. You should be feeling your core and probably your quadriceps, uh, your hip flexors engaging um, throughout it. And I think the work of it, the better you get at it. Is, I mean, after over 20 years of doing this pose, it never really gets better. It always stays hard. but. I think you want it to feel like you're sharing the work through your body, right? So uh, this is Navasana. Your arms are parallel to the floor. You're creating a V-shape with the torso and the legs. The toes are just a little bit higher than the head. In Ashtanga, the drishti is the toes. And we do this vinyasa in Ashtanga as well. So five breaths here and then ashtau, cross the legs, hands down, pick up and exhale, come back down, and then we do it again, sapta, inhale into the state of the asana. And we do this uh, five times, so five sets. So uh, the posture, if you're, if you're doing it correctly, should be focusing on the core and not the lower back, and you do that by maintaining a slight posterior tilt. And this is kind of funny, because I've heard it taught really totally another way as well. But you want to stay on the back of the sits bones when you're doing this pose. So you keep this slight roundness in the lower back. If you start to arch your lower back, um, you're going to feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on the lower back. But it sounds, I know why people do this actually, because when you round your lower back, if we just round the lower back, it looks like you start to slouch. Right? And when you're doing this pose, it's easy to get quite slouchy, to get round in the back. So we, we're going to do this trick in this pose that actually is the trick to primary series, which is this slight posterior tilt, but then also this thoracic lift extension in the upper back. So even though we're rounding in the lower back, we want to learn how to lift and open the chest up. And this pose is kind of like the uh, penultimate expression of that of that combination of movements. So we're holding that mild posterior tilt on the back of the sits bones, bearing down, pushing down through the lower belly, and then trying to lift the chest through the shoulders while we hold it. Yeah. And the other thing with the arms here too, is we wanna to try to contain the work of the arms. So the arms are working like, as though you're pushing down into something, so they're connected to the body. And then look at Yelena's fingers and thumbs. They're nice and organized. I don't know why, but people love to do this. They do all sorts of crazy things with the hands. Speaking of that too, this is that pose where people love to fix their hair. Why? Well, because your hands are free. It's the perfect opportunity in the practice, right? <laughs> Maybe, but also because we like to do something else besides Navasana, even when we're doing Navasana. It's a way of kind of um, avoiding some of the experience of Navasana, of the suffering. So just try to stay with the work when you're doing it and watch for those little, those little uh, ticks and movements that show up that don't really need to be there. Fixing your hair, fixing your shorts playing with your fingers. I think this was the pose when, you know, holding it on, on its third set or something. When I realized after having shaved my head off, I went to do this to, to fix, fix your hair. my hair. Yeah. And just, you know, the realization of like how habitual that movement is, because there was nothing like in my face. Yeah. And, and the break that it provides, a mental break from holding the 
pose itself. I'm always um, poking myself in the eye because I go to fix my glasses and I'm not wearing them, <laughs> just habitually, you know? So, <laughs> so uh, potentially, I guess, the pose is doing what it's supposed to do as an asana. It's waking mm -hmm. us up. Mm -hmm. And then one of the important tricks in this pose is to try and squeeze the legs together. Um, squeezing the legs together activates this midline um, line of our body. So it starts to engage these muscles here, which actually, even without necessarily thinking about getting a lift through our pelvic floor, through our bandhas, squeezing the legs will do that work. And so again, it will provide this stability around the waist um, and provide this feeling of kind of being held as well. Um, and then if, if it's really hard for you to have the legs straight and you start noticing that you're shaking, knees bend slightly. Don't bend them intentionally. Let them bend because it's really hard and the body's shaking. But if you start doing something like this, the chances are that you're really going to stay there and not really go into or work towards the fuller expression. So, initiate it here and then you'll notice the shaking and the shaking's fine that's just strength kind of coming your way and then if the knees bend they they bend that's totally fine we don't ever teach holding no. the legs because that's just another way of kind of relaxing and creating this yeah. little tension and it's a different posture yeah yeah you have to stay with the suffering of Navasana. <laughs> There's a whole other kind of uh, training inside of that. Suffer and smile. <laughs> That's our pro tip. <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful. Um, let us know in the comments section. Let us know what else uh, we can do. What are you interested in seeing us break down a little bit more? And of course, subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye.